Maps view inside of monday.com is a great way to see locations for your clients, for your team, for your accounts, literally anything. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the maps functionality in monday.com. So as you can see here, I'm in an example monday.com system. Now there are two components that you need to be aware of when we are setting up maps. First and foremost, we must use the location column. So as you can see, I'm on this board here. And in order to add a location column, it's really simple. Just press the plus button on the far right hand side and press add column and then I'll go ahead and go to the more columns area down the bottom and just search for location and this is the location column that we that we would like to add to the board so once you're happy go ahead and press add to board and as you can see this location column has now been populated now it essentially acts like a google maps feature all you need to do is go ahead and put the um, put the address of any location so whether this be your clients your contacts, uh, your prospects. This is really, really good to have because what I'll show you in a moment with the actual maps view is we'll be able to see all of the locations of our different clients. And then if someone's doing site visits, they it would be a lot easier for them to see multiple people at one time and do, just streamline the process because it's visually available. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in where we are based. So we are based in London. So I'm just gonna search London. Um, and then I'm gonna add a couple more locations. So Manchester, uh, in the UK um, and then maybe Brighton in the UK as well so Brighton and Hove so we've got these three locations here and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is add our maps view so this is the second most important aspect of all of this so in order to add a maps view just go to the plus button up the top here and we need to go ahead and select add view and then if you cannot see the maps option, just go to explore more views and then scroll down and you should be able to see it. If you cannot see it, just search in the top left hand corner map, just map, not maps, <laughs> just to be clear. And then go ahead and press open in board. And that is going to populate the maps view. What I would then recommend going ahead and doing is just pressing the three dotted button and making this docked, making this a docked widget. So that means it takes up the entire screen. And as you can see here, this is quite cool, right? Because now we have all of the locations that I entered in on the main table visible on the maps view. So obviously we entered in London, um, I entered in Brighton, which is the south of England, um, and then I put Manchester, which is the north of England as well. So this functionality can be really helpful because if there are multiple people in and around the London area when I'm doing a visit to one of them, I could then plan my routes and go and see um, and make sure I go and see the other people as well. Or alternatively, you may find that a lot of your leads are based in one place or a lot of your deals are based in one place. And there may be a reason for that, maybe word of mouth or something else. So it could really help you just actually get a visual insight into the data that you're reporting on. Now, there are a few changes that we can make to our maps. So if we go to the cog in the top right hand corner here and go to settings, we've got the location and then we can just define the zoom level as well. So select the default zoom level of your map, one minimum 22 max. So if I press 22, you can see that is very, very zoomed in. So every time you come back to the maps feature, it will be that zoomed in. Or we've got one which is the most zoomed out. I'm just going to leave this as blank for the default value. The only other thing I can think to mention is maybe filtering by who you do and consequently do not want to see on your map view. You can do this by going to the filters in the top up the top here. Use the filter drop down menu and you may say where group, for example, is equal to the bottom group. So maybe just closed one. So what we're saying is only show me the items on the board where the group is equal to group group title, which is a poor example. But hopefully get, you get the idea. So you can filter down who you actually want to see on the map as well. But it's super easy functionality. It's a really helpful tool. And I strongly recommend you use this. Maybe to track your leads, especially your accounts and clients um, and potentially your deals or anything else as well. You could have your team your staff on here and you'll be able to see where they're all located as well so hopefully this has given you an insight into how to use maps if you want to switch back to the main table just go to, go to the top left hand corner here and select main table uh, and you can change the locations accordingly thank you very much for watching if you need any help setting up monday.com for your business check out the link below we'll be delighted to help thank you very much and i'll see you soon goodbye